Hello friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll discuss about bus bar protection for two bus system and how the overlapping of the zone uh, will cover the fault which will occur in between bus coupler CT and the bus coupler breaker. So here uh, there exist uh, two bus that is main bus one and main bus two. Uh, and this two bus is coupled by bus coupler bay. This is the bus coupler bay. In the bus coupler bay, there exist uh, two CT. One CT is connected towards the main bus one, and another CT is connected towards the main bus two side. And this is the bus coupler breaker. So here uh, there exist uh, four feeders. In between four feeders, there exist two incomer, incomer one and incomer two, and there exist two outgoing feeder. So, how does the bus bar relay sense the fault at either zone A or zone B? The answer is by the isolator selection. So, if the isolator is connected uh, towards the main bus one, then it will be counted as a zone A. If the isolator is connected uh, towards the main bus two, then uh, the current uh, will be connected uh, or considered as zone B. So isolator has the auxiliary switch from the auxiliary switch uh, the auxiliary switch status is connected towards the relay. So if uh, incomer one is connected towards the uh, main bus one via 89A then 89A status will go towards the relay. So this feeder is considered or incomer one is considered in the zone A. Okay. Similarly, if the outgoing one is connected uh, towards the main bus one by 89A, then this outgoing feeder will be also considered in the zone A. And uh, this bus coupler CT, uh, bus coupler CT is connected. Uh, for example, uh, the bus coupler CT which is connected towards the main bus two will be counted in the zone A, and bus coupler CT which is connected towards the main bus one will be considered in the zone b okay again income 2 is connected uh, by a main bus 2 by 89b so this income 2 is considered under zone b and outgoing feeder 2 is connected uh, to the main bus 2 by 89b so this outgoing 2 is considered under zone b now how does the relay will understand that is uh, the current is flowing towards the bus or uh, current is flowing from the bus for the CT if the uh, in the primary site if current flow from the uh, P1 to P2 direction then in the CT secondary site current will flow from S2 to S1 direction so for example if the CT ratio is 400 by 1 then if in the primary site if 400 ampere current is flowing from P1 to P2 direction then in the secondary site current will flow from S2 to S1 direction as 1 ampere. Similarly, in the primary side, if current is flowing from P2 to P1 direction, the direction of the current in the CD secondary side will be from S1 to S2 direction. So here the connection of a bay has been shown. So CT is connected uh, towards the P1 is towards the bus side and P2 is connected towards the line side. So it may be an outgoing feeder or it may be an incomer. Now consider that uh, the CT ratio is 400 by 1 and 400 ampere current is flowing towards the bus. So since the current flowing in the primary side is from P2 to P1 direction, so in the CT secondary side current will flow from S1 to S2 direction. Now the for bus bar protection, S1 terminal is sorted since the protected object is bus and H2 terminal is taken to the relay terminal. Now the relay terminal has a CT coil here 1 2 is the relay terminal. So if the current flow from 1 to 2 direction then relay will sense this current as a forward polarity. Again if current flows from 2 to 1 direction then it will sense reverse polarity. So if current flow from 1 to 2 direction the current which is sensed by the relay will be in forward direction. So in this case, since current in the primary side flows towards the bus, in the relay side, the current will flow from 1 to 2 direction. Since the current is flowing from S1 to S2 direction to towards the 1 to 2 terminal and it will come back towards S1 terminal. 
so relay will sense this current as forward direction so current flowing towards the bus in the primary side sensed by the relay terminal will be in forward direction and now consider uh, that uh, the current uh, in the primary side is flowing from p1 to p2 direction that is it is uh, current is flowing out towards the feeder from the bus so since the current flowing from p1 to p2 direction in the primary side the direction of the current in the ct secondary side will be from s2 to s1 direction okay now due to this the current will flow towards the relay terminal from 2 to 1 direction and towards the s2 point okay so since the current is flowing from 2 to 1 terminal relay will sense this current as a reverse direction so the concept is that uh, the current flowing out towards uh, from the bus will be sensed by the relay in the ct secondary side as a reverse direction okay now consider for bus coupler ct so bus coupler has two ct the ct which is connected towards the bus one side will be covered under zone b location and ct which is connected towards bus two side will be covered under zone a location okay so since the uh, CT sorting is done towards the protective object and since this CT is covered under zone B or bus 2 location, so CT sorting is done towards the bus that is bus 2 that is S2 and S2 terminal is sorted. Similarly for this CT, S2 terminal is sorted and S1 terminal is taken to the relay. So if the current is flowing towards the bus 2 uh, that is from P1 to P2 direction in the primary side, the direction of the flow of the current will be from S2 to dire S1 direction and towards the relay terminal from 1 to 2 direction and towards the point S2. So current which is flow towards the bus 2, the relay will sense this current as a forward direction. So for bus coupler CT, if current flows towards the bus, relay will sense this current as a forward direction. If uh, current will flow out from the bus the relay will sense this current as a reverse direction now consider under normal condition and that is uh, load is flowing for outgoing one and outgoing two and this two load is supplied by incomer one and incomer two so incomer one and incomer two supply current of uh, 200 ampere and 400 ampere respectively and outgoing one and outgoing two feeder load is 300 ampere each so since the uh, for the bus one uh, the outgoing feeder one load is 300 ampere and incomer uh, supply the current is 200 ampere so remaining 100 ampere current will be supplied by incomer two via bus coupler ct towards the main bus one and towards the outgoing one feeder now for the zone a zone a for the incomer one ct the current is flowing from p1 P2 to P1 direction towards the main bus side. So, if the current is flowing from towards the bus for feeder, it will be considered by the relay as a forward direction. And for outgoing one, the current is flowing from P1 to P2 direction. So, the relay will sense this current as a reverse direction. And for bus coupler, so bus coupler CT, which is covered under zone A, that is ct which is connected towards the main bus 2 so this ct so towards the this ct the current is flowing from p1 to p2 direction towards the main bus 1 as a, a 100 ampere which will be sensed by the relay as a forward direction so 100 ampere and 200 ampere current that is 300 ampere current sensed by the relay as a forward direction and 300 ampere current is sensed by the relay as a reverse direction so under normal condition, I differential zone A is equal to 0. Similarly, I differential zone B will be equal to 0. Since 400 ampere current is flowing towards the bus, and uh, that is, uh, it will be uh, sensed by the relay as a forward direction. And 300 ampere current uh, is flowing out from the bus for outgoing 2. So it will be considered as a reverse direction. And 100 ampere since zone B is covered uh, under this CT, is uh, current is flowing from the uh, bus, so it will be 
sense by the relay as a reverse direction. So 400 ampere current is flowing uh, sense by the relay as a forward direction and 300 plus 100 that is 400 ampere current is sensed by the relay as a reverse direction. So I differential zone B will also be zero. Now apart from uh, zone A and zone B another uh, parameter is introduced for two bus system that is the check zone differential current. So uh, the consider the bus fault will be considered if the either of the zone A or zone B has a fault and there is a differential current in the check zone. So what is the check zone differential current? It is the sum of the all the incomer and outgoing feeder current. So under normal condition since the incomer 1 has a 200 ampere current is flowing towards the bus and incomer 2 uh, 400 ampere current is flowing towards the bus and for outgoing feeder 1 and feeder 2 load current is 300 ampere which is flowing out from the bus. So check zone current is the sum of the all the uh, current except the bus coupler CT. So here the sum of all outgoing and income, incoming feeder current is equal to 0. So under normal condition there is a no differential current for check zone. So there is a no fault. Now why the check zone differential is introduced for two bus system? Now since the zone, uh, zone A differential and zone B differential current is uh, considered by the relay through the status of the either of the status of the 89A or 89B that is the bus side isolator status. So if the bus side isolator is not uh, gated by the relay properly then relay will not sense this current. For example uh, under normal condition uh, zone A differential current is 0. Now consider that uh, the relay does not uh, get the status uh, that is the close status of the 89A. So since relay does not get the close status of the 89A, relay will not sense the current under zone A. So there will be a mismatch of the current in zone A differential. So zone A differential current will be 200 ampere, but check zone current will be the sum of all outgoing and incoming feeder is zero. So there is no fault. Okay. Now consider that bus fault occur at main bus one and fault current is 6000 ampere. And the, uh, the fault current is supplied by incomer 1, incomer 2, outgoing 1 and outgoing 2 has been shown in this figure. So for zone A, 1500 ampere current is supplied by incomer 1. It is flowing towards the bus. So relay will sense this forward direction and 1000 current will flow towards the bus uh, so it will also sense by the relay as a forward direction and for the bus coupler ct the sum of uh, these two current will flow from the bus coupler towards the main bus one towards fall point so 3500 ampere current is flowing towards the bus so it will also sense by the relay as a forward direction so 1500, 1000 and 3500 that sum of this all this current will sense by the relay as a forward direction that is zone A differential current is 6000 ampere and check zone differential current is the sum of all incomer and outgoing feeder that is the sum of this all current is again 6000 ampere and for zone B differential since 1000 current is flowing towards the bus and 2500 ampere current is flowing towards the bus and 3500 ampere for this bus coupler CT for zone B is flowing out from the bus. So here the zone B differential current is zero. So relay will sense this fault under zone A since zone A differential current as 6000 ampere and check zone differential current as 6000 ampere. So relay will trip the circuit breaker which is associated with this zone A and it will isolate the fault. So friends if you like my video then please go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future. Thank you for watching this video.